Hey everybody, let's spend some time today learning how to add and subtract integers on a number line, but where the equations involve multiple terms. Okay, so what does multiple terms mean? Multiple terms means instead of having the usual um, two integers that we need to subtract or add, we're going to involve a third one like this, but not just the third one, we're gonna throw in a fourth one as well. We're gonna learn how to add and subtract all of them all together using our system, our analogy of hot and cold numbers. So as a brief review, hot numbers are the positives and they're gonna be colored red in my examples. They're not gonna be colored red in your textbook or in your worksheets, but as we learn this here, we're gonna be color coding everything. Cold numbers are going to be blue. So these are going to be sort of like ice cubes and these are going to be like hot cubes. So things that are really hot, these like, like coal, and you're gonna put them and they're gonna heat things up. Whereas if you add these things, they're gonna cool things down. But now look, if you haven't watched the previous three videos, I recommend you go back and you watch those. Otherwise, you may wanna listen to my brief two or three minute review here before we get on to the main lesson. So what does this mean here? this temperature analogy. It's important to review how this number line works and not just that, but also how it relates to thermometers and temperature. What I've done here is I've placed zero and on the right side, I've put all of my positive numbers up to 15 and an arrow meaning it goes on forever. On the left side of the zero, I've put all the negative numbers up to negative 15 with an arrow meaning it goes forever and ever. Now on a thermometer scale, the hot temperatures are going to be on this side, whereas all the cold temperatures, the further you go down here, the colder you're gonna get, this is freezing. And as we move towards the right, we are going to get hotter. On the other hand, as we move towards the left side, we're gonna start cooling down. So this here, this bit of information I just showed you is going to be critical to doing these kind of questions at a higher level. So we looked at four possibilities. When we're talking about these ice cubes or these hot cubes, we had four options. We can either add hot cubes. And if we add hot cubes to some soup, that soup will start to heat up. And heating up means we're gonna move right on the number line. If we subtract the hot cubes, if they're floating around in the soup and we take them out, that soup can no longer heat up, it starts cooling down because this stuff is gone, right? So now it's gonna start cooling down. Cooling down means we have to move this way on the number line. The other two options were either we can add cold cubes, that's like adding ice cubes. If you add ice cubes to your drink, your soda, that drink is gonna start cooling down. So we point this way, we go that way on the number line. And if we subtract the ice cubes, you know, imagine you've got your soda and you take all the ice out of your soda, your pop, that soda will start heating up and we're gonna move right on the number line. So we'll use this symbol here. We also looked at two ways of heating something up. You can heat something up two ways. Heating something up, the obvious way is just, hey, let's add these hot things inside of our, our liquid and it's gonna start heating up. That's obvious, but there's another way of heating something up by subtracting cold cubes. You see, if you had cold cubes swimming around and you subtract them out, you're gonna heat up. Now on the other hand, you can cool something down by two different methods. You can either add cold cubes, that's the obvious one, but the not so obvious one is subtracting the hot cubes, that will also cool something down. Then we had our special puppy guest and we let him play this game. We had some rules for him. The first rule is he always had to start at zero. Now the puppy had to be able to read these equations to determine if he was adding hot, in which case he would move to the right, if you were subtracting hot, in which case he would move to the left, and then these other two over here. So we had to teach this puppy how to read these types of equations. Let's go ahead and begin these examples. Here's example one. The first number here that we have, the very first number is going to be representing our starting point. That puppy, he goes, he reads that, he's like 15, and he jumps towards the 15. He goes all the way to 15. Now puppy's got some reading to do. He's gotta look at what these symbols say. This says subtract. 
And we know positive numbers are hot cubes. So put them together and you've got subtract hot. What do we know about subtracting hot? When you subtract hot, you get colder. You start moving towards the left side. Puppy says, okay, I've got to go now to the left because these two tell me go left 20 spots. So let's do this the short way. Puppy's going to go 20 spots left. From 15 to 0 is 15 spots. We don't have to count them one by one. We know it's 15. Then we go 16, 17, 18. Let's put puppy there. 18, 19, and 20. So far, that's where he lands, but we're not done yet. We must move on to the next part. That doesn't say subtract hot anymore. That says subtract cold. So we need a different sign here. We're going to get this one. Now what happens if we subtract cold? You take the cold out of your drink. What happens? Let's see what this says. Subtract cold. You need to move right. Hey puppy, you got to go right. Puppy says five spots to the right. He can do that. Ruff, 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 ruff. It's back at zero now. Are we done? No, we're not. We still have one more number to look at. Now it's an addition number, an addition part of the equation, but what are we adding? Are we adding hot or are we adding cold? We have two options that we can implement. One of them will be right. We are adding hot. So we'll use this symbol. When we add hot, things will get hotter. So we are going to move in the hotter direction. We're going to go this way. Three spots. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Three is our answer. There's no more numbers to look at, so we put in our final answer as positive three. On to the second question. What does the first number tell us to do? It tells puppy, first of all, hey buddy, you got to reset to zero. Don't do anything until you go back to zero. Now we can start the question. The first number tells us, quite simply, just that's your starting point. You need to go to negative seven. So puppy goes negative seven. That's a starting point now. Now we look at these two here and this says subtract, but subtract what? Subtract hot or subtract cold? Subtract cold, because look, negative numbers are cold. Subtract cold. Which way do we move if we're subtracting cold? Let's not use that sign anymore. Let's think about this. You subtract cold, you suck it out, it's not cold anymore, it's getting hotter. So now puppy's got to go hotter, 10 numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're at positive 3. So our answer is positive 3, right? No, it's not because there's still more numbers to go. So now we'll look at these two here. This one says subtract. This one says subtract hot numbers. If you subtract hot, you suck the hot out. You got no more hot, it's going to get colder, so we need to go towards the cold side by six numbers. So puppy now notices he's got to go to the cold side. Six numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. We still have one more to go. So now we look at this, we say, okay, we got some addition, but what are we adding? Are we adding hot or are we adding cold? You always got to ask yourself that. What are we adding or what are we subtracting? In this case, it's adding. We're adding cold because negative numbers are cold. If you add cold, things are going to get colder. And if you get colder, you're going to move again this way here. So we got to move 10 spots to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, whoop, 10. Negative 13. We're out of numbers. We've got our final answer. We can write it down. Okay, we got one more question to do. This one here, however, does not involve very many positive or negative numbers. I haven't color coded them nicely like I did in these previous examples because you know what? When you're starting to do this from your textbook, you're not going to see color code. So I want to give you some examples or at least one example right now that doesn't involve any color codes. Let's think about them. Six. Puppy resets at zero, but now he's got to go to six. The problem is puppy doesn't know if it's positive or negative six. So here's how you figure it out. Look at your number. 
to the left of it is the symbol. And if there is no symbol, like right here, there's no symbol, you assume it's a positive. So puppy has to go to the positive six. So if I was to color code this, I would make it a red six. Now we see this, it says subtract. But remember, subtract doesn't automatically mean let's go left. Because we either can subtract cold or subtract hot. One of them goes left and one of them goes right. Now we're subtracting something. Are we subtracting cold or are we subtracting hot? Think. Subtract. Cover it up. We know that's subtract. Now the 10 to the left of it is its symbol, but I don't see anything there, so it must be a positive. And positive means what? It means hot. So we're subtracting hot. And if you subtract the hot out, you're not going to get hotter. You're going to get colder. So we have to go to the cold side. Puppy starts jumping 10 spots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we can move on to the next part. Here we have subtraction again. Okay, so subtracting uh, a negative number. Okay, negative numbers are cold. Right, okay, so we'll use this one here. Subtract the cold. You suck the cold out. There's no more cold. It starts warming up. So which way do we move? To the warming side. So we're going to warm up four degrees. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. Oh, he's back at zero again. Great. Let's move to the next part. This is addition. But what are we adding? Are we adding hot or cold? We're adding cold. So if we add cold, negatives are cold. If you add cold, you get colder. Colder means you go, or this way, that way. That's colder. Two degrees, one, two. We're adding numbers here, guys, so we can just plug in our answer. Where's he at? Oh, he's at negative two. Coincidentally, that's also negative two, but it doesn't always work that way. You gotta go through the steps. So we have here our answer is negative two. Guys, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you benefited from this and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed teaching this to you. I love teaching this stuff, guys. And if you felt it was helpful and you learned something, please click the like button, write a comment down below and share it with your friends so they can also benefit. Guys, the next part's gonna involve even more advanced questions. I can't wait to teach it to you. This stuff is a lot of fun and I can't wait to teach you the next part, guys. I'll 